5.7 reads, the shell of the land snail has two possible color form, forms, streaked and pallid. In a certain population of these snails, 60% of the individuals have streaked shells. So P is equal to 0.6. It says, suppose a random sample of 10 snails is to be chosen from the population. So this is 0.6 are streaked, and our sample size is 10. We're choosing 10 snails, and we want to know P hat. P hat is the sample proportion of streaked snails. Part A asks us what is the probability that p hat is equal to 0.5. p hat equals to 0.5 means the proportion of, of our um, sample that's streaked is 0.5, meaning 5 out of 10, 5 of 10 shells are streaked. Okay. So this is basically a binomial problem. And remember, binomials n choose k, p to the k times 1 minus p to the n minus k. All right, except here, when we're looking at p hat equals 0.5, um, our k is equal to 5. And so we have 10 choose 5, p is 0.6 to the 5 times 1 minus p, which is... Um, can be 0.4 to the n minus k, which is 5 there. And so we have 10 choose 5 is 252. 0 0.6, oops, 0.6 to the 5, 0.4 to the 5. And when you multiply all of this out, you get 0 0.2007. Part B asks, what is the probability that p hat is equal to 0.6? And so in this case, that means 6 of 10 shells are streaked. And so we have um, 10 choose 6, 0.6 to the 6, p to the k, times 0.4 to the n minus k, and is 10 minus 6 is 4. And when you crunch that out, you get 0.2508. Okay. Part C asks for the probability that p hat is equal to 0.7. Basically, 7 of 10 shells are streaked. So that leads us to 10 choose 7. Point, uh, 6, we need um, this is the probability of being streaked, and we need to have 7 to be streaked. And the probability of not being streaked or pallid, 0.4, three of them will be pallid, okay? K and N minus K, right there. And when you multiply that out, uh, you get 0 0.2150. Part D asks us, what is the probability that 0.5 is less than or equal to p hat, less than or equal to 0.7, okay? And that is going to be um, the probability that p hat, oops, is equal to 0.5, plus the probability that p hat is equal to 0.6, plus the probability that p hat is equal to 0.7. Um, that is equal to, basically, these three numbers added up. This is p hat equal to 0.5, p hat equal to 0.6 is 0.2508, plus p hat equal to 0.7 is 0 0.2150. And when you add all of those up, you get 0.6665, okay? And then part E, I don't know where I should write this, but E asks, what is the probability that p hat is within plus or minus um, 0 0.1 of p? Okay, and so p is equal to 0 0.6. So plus or minus 0 0.1 of 0 0.6 gives us um, from 0.5 to 0.7, okay? 
And so the probability that p hat is between 0.5 and 0.7 is exactly what we calculated in part d. And so the answer to that is going to be 0.6665, exact same answer as part d.